Greetings, everyone. P. Pardo here from Sea of Tranquility. Welcome to pick number 26 of my favorite 31 albums of the 70s countdown across all music genres. Of course, we got 30 days here in the month of October 2023 and every year. Uh, and we've picked out together our favorite albums of the 70s hard rock and metal, pop, rock, punk, if you like, folk, if you like. Prog rock, if you like, jazz, fusion, whatever. It's all up for grabs here this month. Just like we did last month for the 60s. Same thing this month for the 70s. I, of course, have done all sorts of music genres separately for the 70s. Now we're kind of combining everything. So any band is up for grabs, any album. I'm only doing one album per any one band or artist. But you guys are free to pick multiple albums if you so like. It was almost too easy to do that. If that's, I thought about it. I thought about it. Uh, this particular album is a debut album, released August 25th, 1976, recorded at Foxglove Studios in Watertown, Capitol in Hollywood, and the record plant in Los Angeles, produced by John Boylan and Tom Schultz for Epic Records. Of course, I'm talking about the first Boston album, right? The debut. One of the greatest debuts of all time. One of my favorite debut albums of all time. And a spectacular album, a really unique album, right? I mean, who sounded like this when these guys came out, right? This was, uh, I remember when I first bought this album, I played this to death. And this is one of those <clears throat> rare albums, I think, where, yeah, I've heard it all, either on the radio or based on what I've played or friends have played or whatever a million times. I never get tired of it. Never get tired of these songs, never get tired of this album. I think the only song for me on this album that maybe is kind of bordering on, all right, yeah, I've heard that probably enough, but I still enjoy it, is more than a feeling, the kickoff track, right, which is the big hit on the album. It's a great song. It's a great song. But, man, it's just such a, such a great album. Tom Schultz, of course, the leader of the band, leading rhythm guitar, acoustic guitar, special effects guitar, organ, clavinets, little bass. He's basically the jack of all trades, does almost all of it at times, except for sing. The guy who sings, though, the late, great Brad Delp, leading harmony vocals, acoustic guitar, rhythm guitar, percussion, Barry Goudreau leading rhythm guitar, Fran Sheehan bass, Sib Hashian drums and percussion. Yeah. I mean, not a weak song on this album, more than a feeling kicks it off, one of the great hard rock anthems of all time. Man. Those guitar licks and riffs, that the soaring vocals, that chorus. This is stadium rock, folks. And to think that they these guys knocked it out of the park, and you know, fairly soon after they released out, this album became pretty much like a big arena stadium rock band, right? Uh, Peace of Mind, terrific song. My favorite song on the album. Love Peace of Mind. Man, love those guitar parts. So good. Love the production and the recording of this album. Just it's. Total ear candy. Uh, four play long time. Of course, the great hard rock and instrumental with the great organ and great guitar licks. Heating it, hit, heating into, leading into a uh, long time, which is a killer, killer song. Great solo from Barry Goodrow on that. Then, of course, side two, you got a mix of hard rockers and more, you know, mellow or poppy tracks, right? You got Rock and Roll Band, killer hard rock song. You got Smokin', The Furious Smokin'. Hitch Your Ride is more kind of like breezy, almost like kind of like California rock type thing. You got two songs on this side that kind of fit that mold, kind of like maybe like what the Eagles were doing, something like that. Hitch Your Ride is one of them. In between Let Me Take You Home Tonight, which is a closing track, another one of those kind of mellower songs, more of like kind of like a uh, rock, country rock, L.A. type of thing. You got Something About You, which is, for me is the unsung gem of the album that nobody ever talks about. Something About You is a blistering hard rocker with a great groove. It's kind of like hard rock and boogie, you know, done by Boston. Killer Brad Delp vocal. Just, man, just love this album. Love it, love it, love it. All right, let's talk about the charts. Australia, number 16. Canada, number 7. Dutch Charts, number 11. Finland, number 20. Germany, number 4. Japan, number 24. New Zealand, 26. Sweden made it up to number 16. Switzerland, number 3. UK, number 11. And here at uh, the US of A, the Billboard Top 200 albums made it to number 3. Certifications. Canada, Diamond, a million copies sold. United Kingdom Gold, 100,000 units sold. And here in the States, as of last certification, 17 times platinum, 17 million copies sold. Crazy, right? That is some serious, serious numbers 
here in the States. To say that this band was big at the time, yeah, yes, yes, indeedy. And, you know, it's funny because you look at, like, the sales of Don't Look Back, their follow-up album, which I think did seven or eight million copies, something like that, which is immense, seen as kind of a failure next to this one, right? Uh, singles. More Than a Feeling was released September 1976. Long Time was released January 1977, and... Uh, April 1977, Peace of Mind, was released as a single. So, there you have it. Boston, self-titled debut. Great album cover, too. I always love this kind of like artwork with this uh, spaceship guitar <clears throat> with the Boston logo. It's actually like also like a little city within. Very cool when you think about the concept of this. Very, very, very cool. It's almost like, you know, the Earth is blowing up. So all these, uh, you know, little spaceships shape guitars a spaceship with little cities on them. Very, very cool. Looking for a new place for the people of Earth to live, right? Very cool because there's a whole bunch of them, right? There's a whole fleet of them. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Visit us on the web at www.seatranquility.org. We're on Facebook, we're on YouTube, all together, all the damn time. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And click on that notification bell so you get alerted of all of our content as it posts. And please do hit the like button before you leave. Also, down below, we got the links to our Ko fi page for channel donations, our merch page, and our cameo page. So, uh, thanks for all your support investigating those three places. And, uh, List your pick down below, and we'll see you soon here tomorrow for pick number 25. Stay tuned. Just a little while, Mr. Martin Popoff is coming into the funhouse. We will be uh, up to our normal weekly craziness, talking about all sorts of musical topics, so stay tuned for that. we also got the UK Connection coming up tomorrow, and we've got Ranking the Albums coming up on Sunday. I will be ranking the short but really great catalog of a very cool psychedelic band called Weed Pecker. You might be thinking, wow, that is the craziest name I've ever heard, Pete. Who the hell are Weedbecker? Well, stay tuned on Sunday to find out. Very, very cool uh, band. they got four albums, each one of them really, really good. If you like kind of psychedelic space rock, stoner rock, prog, all melded in together, I think you'll dig these guys. So uh, that's coming up on Sunday. So until then, take care, everybody. See you soon. Bye-bye.